Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're taking a look at some hidden features that you will be able to find on your iPhone running the new iOS 17. Now, iPhones always have things that they can do that of course we don't know all about them. So in this video, we're going to take a look at 15 of those, which not in my opinion are really cool. And of course, most of them actually very, very useful to know. Now, first of all, let's head on to the photos app. So let's say you have a picture here that you have taken with the portrait mode on iOS 17. Here's what you can do. As you can see, the focus in this photo is on this subject right here. But with iOS 17, if we tap the edit button, we can now quickly switch the focus to other subjects in the photo. So I can switch from this to this right here as easy as that is simply by the tap, just like that, change the focus and change the subject of any portrait photo that you take with your iOS 17 device. Here's another really great feature of the Photos app on iOS 17. You know that when you have a photo on iOS that has a subject on it, you can tap and hold that subject and of course you can lift it up. But with the new iOS 17, if you tap and hold the subject and once you have selected that, you will see of course the highlight, you can now tap the select all and it will also select other subjects that you might have on that photo. So you can actually now lift multiple subjects. It doesn't matter whether there are two, three, or even more subjects, you simply select one of them. And of course, tap the select all button and all the subjects on the photo can be lifted at the same time. Now the notes app on iOS 17 also has gotten a lot of updates and a lot of very useful features. Like of course, you can link a note now on another note or you can add a link to a text. So right here you can see a simple text. It says, check this link. What I can do now is go to Safari. And if I have a website here, a link, I can copy that link and I can come back here, select that text where it says link right there. And now what I would be able to do is tap the arrow right there and just tap here on add link. And I would be able to paste the link here tap the done button. Now we're good to go. You can see there is actually no like link here. There, there's no text of the link, but it just highlights that word. And of course, at any time I can tap that word to actually open that link. And here's a really good one. If you have a PDF file added to one of your notes, previously with iOS 16, you would have to actually leave the notes app in order to go through the pages of that PDF file. Now, once you have added a PDF, what you can do here is just slide like this, and this will allow you to just move through all the different pages of that PDF file directly from here without having to actually leave the notes app, which in my opinion is a very nice touch and of course a very useful feature. Another thing here is that you can change the view of the PDF on your notes app. So you can see right here, this is quite big. It will take a ton of space here. What we can do is just have that little arrow right there. And now we have view as now, if you tap right there, you can switch to medium and of course a small as well. And this will just make the PDF look like that. Of course, you don't have to actually have that large PDF showing right here on your note. You will have just that like highlight there and that preview, that little preview of the PDF file. Now you can do the same thing. You can change the view of different attachments as well. Like a photo, for example, if we have a photo here, we can tap and hold that photo and we will get the same button here. It says view as you tap right there. You can switch between small and large and get a very small picture in this case, right there on the note, which in my opinion looks way better than having a large picture taking up all the screen of your note. The Reminders app on iOS 17 also has gotten a lot of updates and a lot of very useful new features. One of them is this one right here. Go to one of your reminders. All you have to do is just tap that little I button. You can see an option here that says Early Reminder. Tap there. What it allows you to do is to set a notification for your reminder so it will remind you a bit earlier. So let's say you have a reminder set for today at 3 p.m. You can just set a notification here, choose one of the presets right here, just tap on custom, and you can just basically set here a note at any actually a notification at any time you want from a date, an hour or a minute. And of course, as long as you want, but you will have all the different options here, have the numbers and of course, minutes, hours, days and so on. 
Now here's something pretty cool you can do on iOS 17. Now this is of course not a feature of iOS 17, but it's something that iOS 17 allows you to do and it's pretty cool. You can shoot videos, record a video with the screen completely turned off. This will be very useful if you just wanna shoot a video and have the screen off or maybe shooting a time lapse. You don't wanna have the screen turned on all the time because of course that takes some time and having the screen turned on will consume a ton of your battery. So here's how you do it. Head on to your settings, go under accessibility here and make sure you just scroll all the way down and go to guided access and have it turned on. Then move here to accessibility shortcut, scroll down and make sure you have turned on voice over. Once you have done these two, go to your camera app, move of course the video here, triple press on the side button and then select the voice over. Now what you have to do is double tap on the record button and it's starting to record a video. Now to turn the screen off, triple tap on the screen with three fingers. And just like that, you turn off the screen of your device while the video is still being recorded in the background. What do we wanna do here? If we wanna turn on back the screen, again, triple press with basically triple tap with three fingers. Just like that, you have the screen back on. You wanna stop recording the video, double tap here, and now to turn off voiceover, triple press on the side button. And again, double tap here on voiceover. And just like that, now you have voiceover turned off and you have recorded a video with the screen turned off on your iOS 17 device. Now, in my opinion, one of the best new features of the home screen on iOS 17 is that now you can pick any album to be shown on your photos widget. I'm pretty sure a lot of iOS 17 users don't know about this feature, but you can actually do that and it's pretty easy to do. All you have to do is add the photos widget and press and hold here, tap the edit widget. It will show you your album, you tap on it and it will show you the list of the albums that you have. Under camera roll, you can simply select any album you want and then only photos from that album will be displayed on the home screen of your device. Of course, if you have, let's say, a few different photos that you want to have here, you can just create an album. Then, of course, add those photos to that album and just show it here and you're good to go. Now, when it comes to photos, this is really cool. Lookup has been improved a ton with iOS 17. And if you have a food photo of a, a picture of some food, you can actually just tap on the I button and it will show you recipes for that food. So it says lookup. In this case, it says food here. Tap there. You will see the results and you can see all the different recipes that we can get directly from the photos app for the food that's on that picture. Safari is one of the iPhone apps that has been improved a lot with iOS 17, especially the private browsing part. It's actually now private. Now, what you can do with private browsing on Safari is that if you have extensions that you use with Safari on iOS 17, you can now disable those for your private browsing. So you go to Safari settings and you go to extensions right here. Let's say we have an extension, it is enabled. Now it shows here private browsing. You can get to choose here whether you want that extension to also work on your private browsing or not. When you go to a website on Safari on iOS 17, now if you tap the AA button and you go to the website settings, you can choose where you want to open the links from that website because now we have, of course, different profiles that we can create on Safari. Right here it says open links in profile and it says most recent profile. But if you tap there, you can pick any of your profiles that you have created on your device and that link from that, any link actually from that website will be opened only on that profile. The magnifier app on iOS 17 also has gotten a lot of improvements. You can now actually detect text on the magnifier app. Just have this turned on and it actually does detect the text and it actually works very, very well. So you can see right there it says text and it will show you here any text that it actually sees on the screen, even if that text is actually really, really small. Let's just take this iPhone like we, what we have here an iPhone an iPhone package and you will see the text is actually very small but it will detect all the text that's on any like picture or anything you have in front of your iPhone you can see everything even though it's really really tiny it will be detected 
Now, something really cool on iOS 17 is that now you can edit the voices that you have on iOS 17 that you use for Siri and voiceover or whatever. So you go to your settings, go under accessibility, you will have spoken content here, and then you have your voices. Go to the voice that you're using, and then if you tap on it, you will have this little I button, and you will get actually to the settings here where you can change the pinch range, set the WPM minimum and maximum from here. And of course, you can even test it out, preview the settings that you have set from here. Just tap here and it will show how your settings have changed that voice. And last but not least, we're talking about emojis. With iOS 17, you can use emojis as stickers and it works pretty much everywhere on iOS. You just simply head on to emojis and you can just drag an emoji and just add it maybe to text as a reaction or anything you want. Of course, while dragging it, you can also use the other finger to rotate it or make it smaller or bigger. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. These are 15 things that your iPhone can do on iOS 17 that you probably didn't know about. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. And of course, subscribe for more. And I'll see you on the next one.